I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome back to another week here at the Stress Mastery Podcast. I'm your host, David the Super Millennial. This week on the Stress Mastery Podcast, our topic is on the comfort zone. And today's episode of Mondays with the Super Millennial, we're going to be discussing the most dangerous place on earth the comfort zone. Before we get started, I would like to remind you guys that access to the Stress Mastery community is absolutely free for the first 30 days. Sign up today and get complete access to courses, evaluations, community discussions, and much, much more. If you guys have any questions, email me at david at livingrightwithbillcourtright.com and I'll make sure to take care of any concerns you may have. Simply go to www.stressmasterycommunity.com or use the links below. We hope to see you guys in the community very, very soon. There's a lot of new things coming. Now let's get started with today's episode. The comfort zone is responsible for single-handedly killing many aspects of your life and ultimately the way that your future shapes. Yes, you heard me right. Killing. This is why I believe the comfort zone is one of the most dangerous places on earth. Don't believe me? The comfort zone is notorious for killing your creativity. Why is that? Well, in order to be creative, you must be connected. Inside of the comfort zone, where you're not connected to to the creative mind or the mastermind, you're not going to be creative. In the comfort zone, you are simply playing it safe. To be creative, you must be bold, ambitious, and most importantly, take risk. But that's not the only reason why the comfort zone is the most dangerous place on earth. The comfort zone is the most dangerous place on earth because it's also responsible for killing any and all growth that you had. The comfort zone is the only job for the comfort zone is to survive and not live. To live means to grow and expand. And in the comfort zone, you're basically just surviving on autopilot. All of that ends in the comfort zone. There is no growth. Growth is just like creativity and requires for you to get uncomfortable and do things that will expand your limitations. The comfort zone is also responsible for swiftly killing any of the opportunities that were coming your way. The opportunities may still be there. But in the comfort zone, you will not take them. Opportunity is in the event of which you must take action in order to make a change. If you think you're going to take a risk or go after an opportunity while still being in the comfort zone and in your cage, you are sadly mistaken. And most importantly, why the comfort zone is the most dangerous place on earth is because it is where your authentic self goes to die. This is the biggest reason why the comfort zone is so dangerous. Once you start to lose who you are and your authentic self, well, that's where things start to spiral in the wrong direction. First off, you become boring. And not just to others, but to yourself. You start to see your life as autopilot. You start to go through things that you feel are safe. You have the same routines, you go through everything. Life just starts to see become boring, um, and your daily routine seems very boring. Like I said, you will seem boring to other people. It's just how it is. Hey, how you been? Same old. Hey, how you been? Same old. And you know that person that is literally, you ask them how they are, and it's the same old thing over and over, and their life literally looks like a copy and paste over and over. Second thing starts to happen is you start to lose your passion. This goes along with the being boring part, but you no longer want to engage in things that make you passionate. You lose that spark, that thing that makes you want to get up and go, um, to try new things, to, to become creative, to really start to expand your reach and the way that you look at things. Your passion, that fire starts to dwindle out, and that happens very quickly inside the comfort zone cage. Three and the biggest thing that I think I notice when people get trapped in that comfort zone for too long, they begin to settle. 
They don't look to expand. They don't look to, to grow anything. They just start to settle. They settle with partners. They settle with jobs. They settle where their financial status is, their cars, their clothes, the way that they look, all of these things, they start to settle. What the big problem with that is, is that you're settling at wherever your current state is. If you have a comfort zone, still, your state isn't optimal. If you're living in the comfort zone, your health isn't optimal. If you're living in the comfort zone, your career probably isn't optimal. Neither is your finances. This is the problem with settling inside the comfort zone is because you are settling for what you're currently at and you know you need to grow. On top of that, you set limitations on yourself. This is the problem with opportunities. You see opportunities You see things that are out there and you set limitations. You no longer believe the impossible. You no longer want to take the risk. You will not go for anything. You have the limitations and you believe those limitations are real. And those limitations are, in fact, real because you will not push them. You will not go further because you believe that that is where you're at. On top of that, you start to become lazy. This goes along with the being uh, losing your passion, um, starting to settle and become boring. You become lazy. You don't want to push more. You just try to do less and less and less. And you try to just become this little ball. You just try to hide. And that's the best way I could put at it. You really tried to hide from life. And the last thing is you become the person going through the motion, going through life rather than living. Living is about going and seeking new things, trying new things, traveling, experimenting, you know, just going after everything that it has to offer. And if you're you're in the comfort zone cage, I promise you, you are not expanding. And some of you guys say, well, I take a vacation every year or I do this. I guarantee you're taking the same vacation. I guarantee you're doing the same things on vacation. I guarantee you're doing the same things and you're telling yourself that you're not. And that's the problem. I know people who will go on a cruise every single year, same time, and they do the same excursions and they do all this thing. Great. You love it? Sure. No problem. But are you doing it because you're, you're, you're trying to take a vacation and expand and really grow and get you time? Or is it just one of those things where we've got to take the family on vacation? we got to do this. we got to do that. It's really about are you going through the motions? Are you living life? There's so much more to be lived outside of the comfort zone. And the biggest problem is that you have to live it on the other side of fear. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable. Yes, you're going to have fear. But once you get over it and you start to progress past it, you will see so many opportunities out there for you to live. But what can we do to get out the comfort zone? And you guys are going to hate me because the answer is very simple. And here are my two pieces of advice for you to get out the comfort zone cage. First thing that I have is get uncomfortable. I know it sounds stupid. And I know it, it, it might be too simple for everybody. But, yes, just get out the comfort zone. Get uncomfortable. If you feel that you haven't been uncomfortable in a while, go do something that makes you uncomfortable. Go do something that really pushes your limits. There was something that I, I decided to do a few years ago was uh, I wanted to be more social with people. And I am usually a social person, but I found myself being less social because of being so social with work. So I made myself a, a, a kind of a deal where anytime I stepped out the house, I wanted to have a conversation with at least one stranger, no matter where it was, gas station, uh, you know before COVID and going out to eat or, you know, do anything, just one conversation with somebody. The cool thing about that is, is that in the beginning, I was kind of uncomfortable, even though I'm good with talking to people. And because I put myself in situations where I normally wouldn't talk to people and I'd kind of avoid the conversation. The cool thing that I noticed really fast is that the more that I did it, the more that it became normal to me. I was no longer uncomfortable then I started to seek out and doing the same thing. I started talking to more people. I started having this engagement. And, and next thing you know, I was really enjoying going out to do my normal errands and going to the gas station because I loved the interaction that I was having. That's all it takes is to get uncomfortable. Do something small. That small action that I did 
was very, you know, it doesn't seem like a great big deal. But to me, it made a huge difference because it pushed me to get uncomfortable and it allowed me to grow and get out of my own zone. The second thing kind of goes along with this, but take a risk. Sign up for a class. Do a course online. There's so many things that you can try to be learning and trying to do right now that have risk reward kind of things. See them, weigh them out, do what's the best. Some things have a lot of, you know, reward with very little risk that you can take right now. I think that's a great option. A lot of people, you know, you have a lot of time working from home. Is there a side job that you can do? Take a risk, take a course, do something that will push you out your boundaries, make you get uncomfortable. And it starts with that. If you're taking risks, you're getting creative, you're getting ambitious, you're doing things that you normally wouldn't do. This is not what the comfort zone is about. That is why you're doing this. You're doing this to expand and grow, take advantage of these opportunities, and to get out of the most dangerous place on earth, the comfort zone. Get uncomfortable. Take risks. Those are my two pieces of advice to start out with to get outside the comfort zone. If you guys do this, I promise you will see a change. You will see a difference. It is really that simple. I think it's very important for you guys to, you know, kind of do that and start small. Work your way up and get big. I promise you the satisfaction that you feel just from stepping out and trying something different is going to be great. You're going to love it. You're going to thank yourself. And I promise you, you're going to realize that the comfort zone was a lot worse than you think it is. Get away from it. Step away from your ego. Go have fun. Go live life and stop just going through the motions. That's it. And that's all I got for today's show. Our mission here is to create a shift in the planet. You guys can join this mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. And getting out that comfort zone and joining us in the Stress Mastery community. We love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's going to be an awesome week. Until next time, stay inspired. Stay inspired.